presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother, I you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions. And point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial Trading up 725, NASDAQ's up 325, SP's up 100, gold. Gold contract trading up uh, $31.90, 1734 an ounce. We have silver up 52 cents, $21.11 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 283, trading out of the price point 86.45. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up nine ticks right now, trading at a price point of 113.15. The 30 year up 11 at 120. 2821. The 10 year folks is yielding 3.617 in King Dollar. King Dollar down a 1,554 ticks, trading 110, 187. The euro is at 99. The yen is out here at a price point of 144, and the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, well, first, let's bring up the, we'll bring up the E-minis first. So we bring up the E-minis. You've only got one retracement all day. It's been an up market in a big way. Uh, bump. We take a look at this. What you're going to see, however, is that, that when we came down, that's going to be a high-volume low. So my take is coming into the close. We're going to go after this high-volume low again, which is the 37.66. Uh, which is only 30 points down the S&P, which is not a big deal on a volatile day. If we take a look at this now, that's the, the, the futures. If we go into the SPY, what you're looking at in the SPY is that, you know, you got a great day going, no doubt. Yep, $9.72. You're coming into the downdraft of the uh, 21st. Now, that's 106 million shares. So bottom line, we're, we're not going to do 106 million shares. That's the real bottom line. The question is going to be, you know, what do you do? And it's the NDX that actually has given us more information. The reason I'm saying that is this. See, we don't have a swing here. You know, we have the lows of the downdraft. Now, it's, it has come into the lows of the downdraft. The real question is, if that's going to fail here, you'd have to really back off two or three points on the SPY. We'll see where that shakes out. That being said, my take is that you're going to see that failure come in the queues. The queues are totally different, man. It's a different setup also. And what it is is that the, the setup on the queues, see, is that we got over the high that was generated just last week. That high was 281.25. We made it to 282.85. We have 79 million shares there. Now, we're at 50, so you could do 79 million. I, we'll see if that shakes out. But if you close under that, that is saying it's a, you got a one-day wonder on your hands here. So if we don't close under it, it will basically go up to ice. Ice is uh, 285.62. And if I bring this back again for a second, you can see how this is set up. I think I'll do the futures first so you can see the futures. The futures are right at a 0.38. Well, it went up to a 0.382. Uh, do it this way. There we go. 
So if you take this, uh, just the last leg down, I'll open this up for you. But you can see it's a beauty, man. It's, well, actually, we'll see, 3807, look at this. The 3807 is the 0.618, it went to 3802. Now, and this is where you can tell that the, the, the futures and the NDX 100, Still a weaker. This is this has been like a, a classic, uh, you know, example of markets and weakness inside markets. And you can see that on the NQs, eleven thousand seven zero two is the number, and we only made eleven thousand six seventy five. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out. Gold. We went to the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Bottom line, uh, it has price. It has volume. Uh, inside the gold contract right now, we've done uh, 193,000 contracts. Let's see what we're coming into here. Okay, so... Oh, that's interesting. We need more volume there, too. Well, we're down 228. So I still want more volume there. We're going to close it. Well, we should close it over on price. The 1696 is the number, and we're way over that. We're, we're over that by $35 right now. And King Dollar. So if we go to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar, it looks to me, King Dollar, bottom line, coming down hard and fast. Uh, you, the, well, you, you get two different things. As we broke topside, we broke topside at 110, 132. We hit 110.055, we're at 110.218, you know, and the highs of one of the big signs of strength, which was generated out here when it rejected lower price on the 13th is 110.011. Um, you know, so we went to 105, the, doesn't, you know, this, I think, I suspect you're going to get a little sign of support here. This is a hard move down, though. There's no doubt about that. In the dollar, hard move down, giving the market some, uh, market some time to breathe. Uh, we'll see where the whole thing shakes out as we get into the close. If we take a look at the strength inside the NDX 100, you have Illumina is up 9%. You got Lucent up uh, 8.3. Um, you got uh, ASML up 6.7. Uh, only one's negative in the NDX 100, Netflix uh, and uh, Dollar Store. Inside the Dow Industrial, strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. We take a look at that. And I suspect, look at this, they actually do have, Coca-Cola is the only one that's negative. Uh, putting strength into a Goldman, 89 positive points, Caterpillar 53, Microsoft 48, Boeing 39. You know, so the bottom line is that uh, how we close, um, you know, is bottom line will say that, okay, are you going to continue higher? Uh, because if we look at the, I believe what we're going to see is, let me see if we can have a contraction. Yesterday we did 1.1. It's close. We're at 655. We can do 1.1. Uh, and, and on the composite 4.3, we'll, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do an expansion of volume today. That's what, that's what it looks like right now. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 681. NASDAQ is up 310. S&P's up 96. They're right there, folks. Come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Three nineteen S&Ps are up 98. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter. Master, op the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into the newsletter. You see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get one month for $149. Six months for $6.95, which is a savings of 22% or $199. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Once you get Basil's newsletter, he has about 10 to 12 archives out there. Really gets you to understand how he looks at the market and how you ride that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Well, what's going on? It's what's going up. It's the first time in a few weeks that I've uh, spoken to you in this interview and said market is higher. Yes. <laughs> um, a couple of things that we were looking for and what I was discussing all of last week and certainly with subscribers to my opening call is that the intensity of the sell-off in the Dow and the S&P and the Qs, QQQ and the IWM, the main, main index indices, my on balance volume, that is, um, it's an old Joe Granville. Joe Granville. Uh, I right, love that guy. It? I know. Yeah, a very interesting man. Anyway, he developed the system way back, I think it was the 50s and 60s, where you just, it's a, it's a running total of volume. And if the bar that you're looking at closes up, you just merely add it to the running total. And if it closes down, you subtract. Right. It used to be so cumbersome because you'd have a calculator and you have to type in there you know, with 33 million, 400, whatever it is, plus today. Now, of course, you've just got a blue line. And this and it's blue for me, but it's a straight line. And what I was saying is that I, I don't use the MACD or the stochastic for oversold readings. Okay. But I do use the on balance. It's the one indicator, the technical tool that I use. And I said it is really close to a rally. And if uh, three things occur, one is if the volatility index, that's the VIX index, uh, starts to, and I, sh I showed this actually all of last week, for a, a couple of weeks I've been showing, I use a certain, I use trend lines. And if the trend lines can make a little channel, I use that as what I call a chat wave inside track repellent or propellant line. Here at the bottom, you can see this is the weekly chart of the VIX. Yeah. It was a propellant line. 
And it was so interesting that the high that was made back in January, that was with the Fed, with Russia, Ukraine, with everything happening, oil, the works. The, uh, the volatility index went up to 30, uh, 38.94. That was in January, the week of the 28th. And then it pulled back very sharply to the 20s. And then it spiked back in February. And then it kept making it. And I always talk about these things. I've discussed this so many times. I don't know the mathematical rule. But if you look at this chart, look how this trend line reversed the price of the volatility each time. How does the chart know to make that much of a difference to I the know. downside to draw an actual perfect trend line to the exact tops or the exact bottoms? I, I, I've got a measurement and it says it's an emotional measurement and that is measured by the sentiment so that if it's a rising tide, you'll get higher prices and if it's a lowering tide, you get lower prices and the same amount of emotion stops the price that's the only way but that's not a method that's just that's a, an empiric way of looking at it so but isn't it fascinating look what happened last friday uh we were going above the um the trend line thursday and friday and then it stalled to 34.88 that was the week of the 30th of uh, september it closed with a long-legged doji right in the middle of this tiny little mini channel and look what's happened this week. So I said to my subscribers, said, we've got to be ready for some, because if the volatility index pulls back, if the bonds can just uh, have a, a little bit of a rally so that yields can come down, and if the uh, overbought level that I'm looking at, in, the oversold level in the on-balance volume works, we could have a really sharp uh, um, a rally. So we were very fortunate yesterday. We just got, got there in time to, to buy the diamonds yet again uh, because we've tried a few times. I had a real tight 1% loss, but we got it almost at the low of about 29,300, uh, and the low was actually 28,715. So... Uh, we're right here at 30,172. But you were talking about this uh, a little while ago. You were saying what happens next is really important because it's going to give us a lot of clues. So I agree with you because in this V shaped type recovery, and it's fabulous that in so we've taken out eight sessions on the left side in two days. That's really important. Number one. Number two is. The low so far is September, even though the futures went to lower lows yesterday. So it'll be really important if all of September we're able to not go below 28,715 28, or the low in, in the S&P or the Qs, because that'll suggest that September, which is usually, a, if it's a bad month, you usually follow through into October. It means that maybe this time October is not so bad. So I agree, we've got to be looking at what happens next? And I did have what I call the Chapman Wave Trin Gauge. It gave a very low reading uh, today, and that suggests immediately that the very following day, the Dow should have a slide to negative before it tries to rally. I personally would like that because if you get that pullback and then it starts to rally, it says that for, for today and tomorrow, every pullback has been bought. And that's going to be very important. So the most important thing is by Friday, if we take out today's low on the Dow, which is 29,826, that's not going to be a good sign at all. But if if we do get a pullback and if the futures are very high, maybe we won't get it tomorrow. It's failed a couple of times this year. Not many. But it's got a fabulous percentage uh, record, this uh, Chapman Wave trend gauge on the low when it's very low. But if, if it doesn't fail, that's going to show that the the buying pressure is so intense, especially if it gaps up tomorrow. That would give you the potential for a V-shaped pattern. And then I've drawn in right here. This is the next level where the Chapman Wave, I'll draw it and show you what I, I normally do. I, I double it up and I make it very tiny. This becomes red and it just gives you a very good sense of where the next um, Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone is and it's right in here and if we're going into the next few days it's in the 30,700s that's another 500 points from here that's 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 you know that, that would be really impressive if we can even get there but that's the level we're looking at but most importantly on the short term the MACD the moving average convergence divergence is still negative even with this nice two-day bounce 
So I want to see the MACD cross nicely positive. That's this histogram, it's called the 0% line going to positive, and that little green line will cross over the red. And the stochastic is still down at 15%. That is not very good. On balance volume has got the V-shaped recovery. The relative strength is actually quite nice. So not everything is in sync. So it was a very emotional buying pressure with shorts trying to cover, maybe new buys coming in. Same thing today, but it's really important. So the levels to watch, if the Dow can close in the next two days or three days above, I call it 32,270. That would be really important. And if it starts to slide, you've got to hold the 30,000 support on the short term. 2,000 points in two days, man. That's pretty good, Basil. Amazing, yeah, it is. Yeah. Not complaining. Listen, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, man. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 725. The Nasdaq's up 325. S&P's up 101. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's happening, brother? Hey, how you doing, Tommy? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, thank you. Very good. I heard you got a little oh. cold weather coming in there, right? Yeah, we got a little chill coming in. You can tell fall is here. The leaves are starting to fall a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's okay. It is okay. All the summer huh. people went home. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, Unilever, right? Yeah, I'm still, I got in that. And, um, you know, I'm doing okay. And I'm looking at what I think is terrific volume today. And that's... I'm wondering what my target should be here. Okay, let's take a look. So, the low is 42, the high is 54. You're trading 45 right now. Next time, they only come out twice a year with their numbers. So next time is February 16th. You have, so, you know, you, you gap higher, which is good. Um, you're coming into, let's see, 45.51. It hits 45.33, 2.8. Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. 
You know, because what happens is this. You're not going to have more volume than the swing. Or you might, seven, yeah, you, I don't think you will in the next hour. But you, yeah. this is going to try to close that gap first. And now, now this gets interesting, too, because, see, what happens here is this. And this is a little tricky, Frank, okay, because you're dealing with, you know, um, a currency conversion also. So, oh, okay. yeah, let me show you this. This is what's going on. See this? This, London, this is a pound-based trade, even though you're trading in the U.S., okay? So okay. you got to be aware of that because, uh, let me bring this over, you're going to see, see the, the pound is up pretty good today, right? Yeah, the dollar drop is helping this. Is that, it is, it is, in, in pound terms, okay? Um, yeah. Let me get my head wrapped around this now for a second. Okay, so I've traded a long time ago. I used to trade these a lot because you could, what would end up happening to these discrepancies. I'm going back 15 years. I actually, you know, it was amazing, folks. It was one of the tigers that actually taught me this. He had worked for Goldman and came down here. Um, and what ends up happening, there was arbitrages that were still available at that point from uh, the pound versus the U.S. dollar. And so, it, well, the, the bottom line, Frank, I'd stay right there for this point, right? Yeah. Um, when no, it no. comes into this gap, you know, that's when you just want to look and say, okay, does it have enough volume? The way this is set up, um, you know, it does look to me like, you know, this thing more than likely could want to continue to go higher, man. I mean, 47 is game here, you know. The, the cool thing is that you're going to be able to see how it handles the 45 to 46. That's that's your number. And it hasn't hit the gap I'm yet. Looking, and when it comes this close, it's going to hit that gap. I'm looking back at May 31st. Huge up day, huge volume, big gap up, wide price spread. Does that still have any effect relative to where we are right now? It doesn't because what happens now, watch this. This is cool you picked this up. And the reason... See, okay, okay, that was, you know, no doubt a monster day. It opened at 46, you know, got all the way up to 48 and closed at the high, okay? Then you see how we took it out? You took it out. Well, if you want to see something, folks, that when you take highs out with lighter volume and they don't hold, it's some, it's some, you don't know whether they're going to come back two points. Ah, in this particular case, you came back uh, six points, okay? You can see it took it out, 8.3 million versus the 22, then you went higher with 2.1. So 2.1 versus the 8 versus the 48, and then what do you do? You come all the way down to 44, okay. you, you know what I'm saying? So, so um, that failure to high there kind of hits the reset button. It does. Perfect. That's exactly what it does, you know. And what, what does happen also is that this, see, this move here that you're taking out today, uh, the move on the 29th, that's a night. That's you'd like to see that. You, you, you know, came off the low, had strength there. You're going to get more strength today. You know, I suspect it can try to get into this bar now. More than in, in, as you're getting into the bar, see the bar is 2.8, right? The bar beside it, it's 3.3. .3. I'd use the 3.3, yep. and if you go from today doing like 8 million and you're only at 3.3 .3 or 3.4 tomorrow, get out, man. Because that's, that's saying that okay. you get, yeah, this is yeah. going to be like a little consolidation. You know what I mean? That it might have to stay here for a bit it. before it gets into higher price. Yep. Okay, great. Cooking, I'll brother. Money. Thanks. Have yep. a great one, man. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, let's get over and take a look at the uh, GDX, okay? So we finally got some movement inside of the, these metal markets. Um the swing point we're going after, this is good. We got volume, man. Okay, the swing point was 25.71. You need 20 million, you're already at 27 million. So that's that's really good. The, um, let me pull up a few more of these. So if we pull up an Eco Eagle. Yeah, you're gonna, you know what's gonna be interesting here, folks, is that what we've done here is built a very large base inside of the metals market where you know the bottom line is that we should 
you know, this thing to me should have went, but the bottom line, it didn't. It is what it is. Uh, that being said, uh, when you take a look at how the base was activated, meaning you're going sideways, then the activation is like, okay, I'm going inside the range once again. Like if we look at the gold contract, 1714 is inside the higher range. Let me do it this way so you can actually see this because this is pretty cool. You can see we got inside the higher range. So when you're inside the higher range, it's like, okay, game now is up to this uh, 1824. What then, if you're really, which we all want to do, then we say, okay, if we had one more day like this in the gold market, that would say gold's going to the 2023. You can see you're coming right up to, you know, you, we've broken the downtrend, okay? But what I like to see is when you break a downtrend or break an uptrend, I like to see how we have traded just like today. I'd like to see another bar like that. Wide price spread, accelerated volume as you are breaking those channel lines. Because what that's all about, that's, that's saying that you have conviction in the move. In this particular case, we're breaking top side, but if you break top side, you break downtown, it's the same type of setup. Let's get over to the uh, XLE, actually. We got some questions about the XLE. XLE today is trading up uh, 295. Um, you, and you get volume on the move. So the XLE, you know, is saying that, okay, I, you know, I can get up to these, these highs here. The highs being um, 82, you're at 79. If we go to Exxon Mobil and we take a look at Exxon Mobil, Oh, this is going to get interesting. Okay, so as you're trading the XLE, keep your eye on ExxonMobil. The reason being is, see this 95, 34? That's good it actually didn't get to it today. Right there, that's going to be some problems, man. There's a seller right there. That's 37 million shares you're going into. Let me see what Chevron looks like. When you see a, a wide-ranging bar like that, folks, um, And with volume on it, you got to be careful because what happens, yeah, same deal. Yeah, the, okay, I'd be really careful on the XLE right now because you, you got the same deal happening, man. You, you can see in the Chevron, and Chevron went to 43 million to get 7 million. The, the price there that we're talking about is 155.61. Now it's over it, but you get quite a contraction out there. Stay right there, folks, coming back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is up 783. NASDAQ up 334. S&P's up 107. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 760, Nasdaq's up 331, SP is up 105. So good old Twitter. Here we go. So Elon Musk, folks, is back at it. Uh, bottom line is that I suspect his attorneys probably told him that, hey, man, you're going to lose this and you're going to pay a lot more than 50. $4.20, and so the bottom line this morning, uh, he came across saying, hey man, I'd like to close this deal, um, and what they had with Twitter, Twitter had a low today of uh, 42.55, and what you have uh, right now, you're trading at 51.80. Uh, what had happened earlier in the day, folks, is that um, the bottom line is that you know the, the stock went, and then they, then they uh, went from 45 up to 48, uh, they closed the, the stock and then they just reopened it. You know, so the bottom line looks like that deal's going to get done. And the ironic part about that is, is that you, it is going to cost him a lot more than that because what ends up happening is that. So the way that I explained it when this was going on, the Chancellery Court, the way it works for folks, the, the uh, Musk in this particular case, when he is the deal that is bringing it in, saying at the beginning he didn't want to do it. There's so many fines and <laughs> um, paying of the other person's lawyers, it, it's insane. So I suspect what's going to probably happen here is they're going to probably try to shake it out, um, you know, clean it out and uh, get it done. And it's probably it's a smart move in his case because the, the fines and the amount that you can actually that he could actually pay. Uh, is, is a lot more than uh, the 5250. Let's go take a look at uh, EQT. EQT. Let's see what we have there. What is this? So, EQT, right? Okay, so let's take a look. This is an in, uh, integrated energy company, emphasis on Appalachian area natural gas supply distribution. Uh, the low is 1795, the high is 51. That high was established last month. Uh, the next time they come out with numbers is October 27th. Right now, they uh, take in $6.9 billion. They bring in $4.50 to the bottom line. And, of course, everyone's into this natural gas, um, you know, because of Europe more than anything. Um, yeah, this, this is, like, this is so interesting. There's, there's like, almost no volume. Man. There, there is volume, but it's, like... So right there, four, 44, 63. Yeah, I'd be careful with this. I'd be real careful with this, actually. Uh, the reason being, see that four, now it's over 44, 63. It's 44, 92 right now, but you can see we came down there with 21 million shares. You're up with seven. So I would, I would definitely be careful. Uh, and let's go look at the natural gas market. You know what's so intriguing to me about the natural gas market in general? Um, not the natural gas market, about Europe and the context that, um, you know, the bottom line is that they're having a problem with natural gas, right? The, the thing that is amazing is that, and I don't think that a lot of us actually know this, okay? Um, yeah, natural gas doesn't look to me, yeah, this, I mean... You, today you went from 630 to 680. Let me put this. Yeah. 
Okay, so we had 114,000 contracts on second. Yesterday low was 630, today 631. Okay, it's not, it's not a bad, you know, that, that could bounce a little, but I think that's all you're gonna get, get is a bounce. Um, and we're always going on the basis of natural gas. So the prices, you know, we keep hearing that, you know, Europe, they're paying a huge amount of money for natural gas. They're not paying a huge amount of money for natural gas. They're paying as much as we've been paying forever. That's what's so weird about it. So pitch this, the average, let's say the average cost, they were paying like $100 versus three or $400 to heat a house. It's like, okay, who, who's kidding who, man? I mean, that's like, yeah, anyway, you get the gist of it, you know? So the, the rest of the supplies, now the supplies that are coming in, okay, um, meaning coming in, you know, at the beginning it, all, it looked like uh, that, okay, we're gonna get the natural gas. Well, there's plenty of natural gas if they want to pay the same prices that we're paying. But that's, that's the reality. You know, that's why they made the deal with Putin in the first place. You know, we were paying two to 300% more for natural gas than they do. You know, so it's like, okay, man, you think that's gonna go on forever? I don't think so, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, someone made a big mistake there. There's no doubt, you know. Let's go take a look at uh, COP, right? Is that what I'm looking at? So this is Conical Phillips. Up five and a half dollars today. Lows 64. The highs 121. You got uh, they're coming out November 3rd with numbers. Um, you know I love looking at some of these numbers in the, in the oils because they're so big. Look at look at this. 78 billion, 78 billion, and 15 dollars to the bottom line. My God, 78 billion. It's only 52 weeks in the year, man. <laughs> okay, so this. Your swing high is 116.71. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, if you own this, I'd be careful, man. This is what's happening, okay? You know, like, when you go into swing highs, folks, right, what you definitely want is you want volume going into a swing high, and you don't have it here, you know, and you're right next to the swing high. 116.71, 9.4 million, now we're at 5.6. It's like, okay. And you know, if you go back further, you know, see, see that swing high, I had only had, uh, on June, you only had $7 million. I uh, gave it up in spades and then goes from a price point of, uh, what, 123 down to 81 That You do a nice bounce. Well, it's more than a bounce. So it's up to 116 Yeah. I, I'd be careful with all of these, uh, these oils. That, that's the bottom line. They, they look, you know, pretty healthy, okay? But when you, you do the aspect of what they're going against right now, they're, they're really not. You know, and I can I can see you know why people want to get into because they think oil's been up two days in a row and it has okay, but you you don't have any juice juice on oil going on the way up. I mean, there's there's nothing behind this move. I mean, I'll bring this up again so you can kind of see this, okay? CL. So we're up two fifty seven. You know, ice is laid out at uh, 86. So 86.76 is, is a normal bounce. That's what that, that kind of shakes out to be. In fact, let me see it this way. I'll take, whoops. Now we just, okay, so from the bigger move, we just did a 50% retracement also. I just be careful on that whole context, that's all. Because see, what, ha what ends up happening, like the way the dollar is getting, coming down so hard today um oil's up but oil should be a lot up a lot higher than that because you got to remember something oil's priced in dollars bottom line as the dollar moves down which it had dramatically today that should put juice inside all commodities and you know it's it's done a pretty good job it's putting it inside the market for sure there's no doubt about that dow industrials right now up a 791 NASDAQ up 336, SP's up 108. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up by 794. You get the NASDAQ up 342. S&P's up 109. And if we go over to the composite, we are going to have some volume here, folks. So you're going to would likely uh, go higher tomorrow, and we'll see where the contraction. Because right now, see that composite, 4.3 already? And we did 4.3 yesterday. That's saying it's going to do 4.85. If we go into the NYSE, we are at... 766 this will come in this will come in higher so let me just look at the etf so we, we might have some divergence here but i, I suspect we're going to hold price and you are going to get up to yeah you get this thing's going to try to get into so and the spy we're at 377 383 just put it down here for you so you can see 383 the 383.11. You know, bottom line, you have 103 million shares. You've done 81 today. You're going into 106. You've done 81. It's not going to do the volume here, but I suspect you're going to try to get into that number anyway. Uh, we go into the queues. It's going to be the same number. You're not going to do the volume. You're going to hold price. If that's what you do, bottom line is that you're going to go high up. Yeah. Right now, the the queues are at the uh, 281.84. So you, you are going to close over the. No, it's close. Well, yeah, you're going to close over. 281.25 281.25 was the number. You can see. So you, you launch in that little swing. That swing hit 75 million. You're at 57. We'll do 67. We'll probably do 70 million. Uh, if we stay over that, which looks like we're going to, then you are going to bounce right into this uh, 285.62 level. And I can tell you, um, <laughs> 
time-wise, this is setting up pretty good. What I mean by that specifically is that you have the jobs number that's coming out on Friday. You have the ADP number, which is a jobs number coming out on Thursday. We're going to be coming into Wednesday. So the setup is pretty cool uh, to really get a huge amount of information out of the market released. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw that hot out the bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.